Hello, Scorpio. Welcome to Josie K Tarot. I'm Josie K, and this is your spiritual guidance reading for the month of June of 2022. So for the Scorpio reading, I've been guided to the Black Tarot deck, and I'm going to be laying a circle spread. So dear Lord, spirit guides and angels, please bless whichever Scorpio I am reading for during this general reading. Sun, Moon, or Rising, Male or Female, Venus, Saturn, Pluto, Jupiter, and so on. Please bless this Scorpio with clearly defined messages of spiritual advice for the month of June of 2022. Ten of Pentacles. So we got a Scorpio that is entering June, recognizing a light at the end of the tunnel in the area of money and abundance. In the thoughts position, we have the two of swords, like, oh my goodness, should I or shouldn't I go into this path, this direction? It, it appears that there is over the first maybe week or two, maybe the first couple of days for some of June of 2022, indecision here in the thoughts position. Now, in the relationship sector of the circle spread, we have the seven of cups. Uh, so someone here may be in the energy of fantasy and illusion with the seven of cups in the relationship sector. So there's kind of like, should I or shouldn't I? Um, is this what I'm hoping it is, uh, which is a path of abundance uh, or tradition in the relationship sector? So in the creative aspects position, we have a very popular card here that's been showing up in every deck, almost. The high priestess in the creative aspects position is spirit saying, continue to work on and create uh, a beautiful path of financial stability and security. Trust that what you are creating day to day, what you're working towards, spirit's giving you the strength to observe until closer to the end of June before taking any particular action because there's a little bit of fantasy illusion confusion indecision so spirit's slowing you down when it comes to creating something of abundance here somebody really sees a path of abundance but they're not sure and spirit saying wait as you create before taking action now in the creative aspects position we have the four of cups yeah, so someone is hoping that an offer will come that will bring emotional balance. So Spirit's advice during the month of June is to kind of wait closer to the end of June and don't take any action until you are clear. For if you're in a state of confusion, illusion, Spirit saying wait um, until you see, until you are sure of what is on offer here. So in the actions position, it's definitely a nudge by spirit for this Scorpio to definitely go and search out a light at the end of the tunnel when it comes to an offer here. So what is the offer that you are contemplating in the month of June? Take action to research what action steps you should take when it comes to what you want to create okay so emotionally we've got the hanged man energy okay i'm really feeling this strongly if you are unsure in your thoughts about a decision here in relation to another or others give something some time seek out further information and wait don't give in to any emotions one way or another because the hanged man is spirit's way of saying we're going to kind of bring you into balance as you wait and observe what action steps you want to take to create greater abundance here, be it professionally or personally. So in the subconscious position, we've got the Knight of Wands. Ooh. Someone may have come towards this Scorpio very quickly and unexpectedly and then just left just as quickly. That So it left it, this Scorpio in a state of illusion and confusion. So the high priestess is, is a very spiritual feminine energy. It is about observing before taking action and spirit slowing things down so you can decipher what's on offer here. Maybe a financial offer did or will be coming in in June, maybe around mid to end of June, mid, I'm hearing mid-June, uh, that makes you think about 
taking action to go into a more fulfilling balanced direction and i am feeling that's going to be a little bit more financially so day to day we have the knight of spears okay so knight of pentacles slowly but surely someone is going to make an offer or you're hoping that they'll come in and bring some form of traditional abundance here but there are there's indecision and a spiritual advice to slow down and wait don't give in to your emotions continue to create some form of truth of fulfillment here because in the inner strengths position uh oh someone's being tempted i feel i'm feeling a few different things okay so the page of wands in the inner strengths position is like passionate communication but spirits saying we're giving you the strength to slow down and check out what's on offer with the four of cups before moving into a direction whereby you're hoping there's going to be stability and security okay so give something a little bit of time here before taking action is a main message here I think an offer of money will come or is coming at some point it's like you kind of heard about it or it's somebody's going to say something here and you're going to want to go excitedly into the direction of for some creativity or career here but spirit again is saying you know we're slowing you down um and if you're indecisive take no action wait accept to communicate what is on offer is a really big message here in june and then wait and observe until you're clear about if it fulfills you personally or not so in a three card summary we've got the seven of wands the three of pentacles and the tower seven of wands and the eight of spheres so yeah someone here if you haven't already something in relation to home family or business came in quickly and unexpectedly and made you kind of feel backed into a corner contemplating should i bring an end here you are in your element with the death card scorpio and go into uh, an end to one path or an end to someone who's in a leadership position so either you're bringing an end to an old situation regarding someone who's in a leadership type energy or and or you're moving into the direction of another who's in a leadership position there's the page of swords energies getting to the truth of the queen of cups so follow your intuition as you connect with others yep there's the two of pentacles which financial or material path uh, is best for me set and meet goals to get to the truth with the devil so we got the queen of wands very passionate and attractive you're going to be very passionate and attractive scorpio there's a lot of passion here but there is like small passionate communication and spirit saying take action to see what that's about because we do have the devil here we have someone maybe who should not be trusted they come in quickly they leave just as quick quickly they give you a lot of attention but they don't really fill your cup all the way so scorpio by around mid june we have the three of pentacles and the lovers oh my okay so there's a lot of passion and there's indecision here about coming together now i'm seeing the night and the, maybe there's an earth sign virgo taurus or capricorn we also have the lovers representing gemini but i feel like this is more like can we come together and create together with this passion not only emotionally and passionately but like financially and when it comes to a foundation walking away from someone because of their hard words and then feeling heartache that's why spirit's saying slow down slow down and just look and see what's on offer and if the truth is is someone's coming in to be playful or passionate and then leave you in this energy of indecision then give something some time before taking any action big message so we have judgment regarding the tower right something coming and happening outside of yourself unexpectedly and spirit stepping in with the judgment saying we're going to help you to make the best decision the nine of swords is like not sleeping at night and then uh nine of wands is like something went from zero to ten in the area of passion and now with the five of cups of crying over spilt milk i feel like a fool so spirit saying don't manifest with someone who leaves you in that energy of indecision instead manifest a conversation so you can get to the truth of what's on offer here Ooh, I just saw the King of Wands, Leo, Sag Aries, and communication that is good but small. You know, something may not be what you want it to be, whether it's professionally or personally. And it's up to you to make that uh, decision without taking any action, but just by finding clarity. Because 
it's the slow moving energy of the hanged man and the high priestess uh, whereby uh, you're going to draw others towards you and and it'll give you time to observe them and what's on offer i think eventually eh, there's just going to come a realization that this isn't going anywhere personally I think eventually with the Knight of Spears and the Ten of Spears and the High Priestess, there's action. Spirit's saying slowly but surely the Knight is going to come towards you with an offer of abundance. And there's going to be like a light at the end of the tunnel that will bring you out of indecision when it comes to money. But wait for this offer. Wait for the right offer. And this may take until the end of June. So if something comes in or someone quickly, give it time. And here we go. So for... Uh, I, I just brought in the uh, Guardian Angel deck by Dorian Virtue, and this is the overall description of the spiritual messages for what we've been talking about here, and Spirit offered up the Ace of Pentacles. So we definitely have the Knight coming in of Pentacles, the Light at the end of the tunnel with pun Pentacles, and the High Priestess who is waiting to take action. And the Ace of Abundance is a gift from the universe in the form of this Cherub here. This Cherub is bringing wonderful news, exclamation mark. A windfall of resources comes your way to help you with your plans. These resources may involve money, advice, or assistance in getting something done. It's a good time to start a new venture, to change careers, or to go into business for yourself. Wow. And there may be important contracts to sign. Right behind that, we have the Ace of Emotion. A wonderful new emotional experience is coming in. I feel like this is a whole new path. Like I'm going towards a new path and when it comes to what I'm passionate about or work. And I'm also going into the path of another, but I'm unsure about them. So we have a new emotional experience is coming in for some Scorpios in June. You may meet someone who makes your heart flutter or your current relationship will experience a reawakening. But watch out for fantasy and illusion. There is something for some Scorpios that could grow into something deeper or a social invitation, but there's still indecision. Remember, there are great rewards when it comes to spending time alone. Use these moments of solitude to focus on love in ways you might give to those around you. Shine your light as an example for others to follow. Seek out a spiritual mentor if your life feels unfulfilled. If you long for something meaningful, now would be a time to use the Page of Wands energies and the energy of the Knight of Wands to go into the direction of the Seven of Cups to create communications with others where you can take your difficulties, your confusion, your pain, and share it spiritually with others. It's like you could help guide others, and that's what could bring the Ten of Pentacles, the Ace of Abundance, and a new path in love. Like I've been saying, this numerological number six year of 2022 is about coming into genuine connection with like-minded people and seeing a higher, better path than you had experienced prior in your life path journey. Just watch out for temptation here. Wait for clarity. Beautiful paths are going to open up, but it's up to you to make the highest, best decision for yourself. Someone is going to tempt you. All right, so should these messages resonate for you and you would like further information about your own personal journey or you would just like a general spiritual reading, feel free to write me for a personal reading via my email, which is josiek42 at gmail.com. I offer four one-half-hour video readings and they are a one-month, three-month, six-month or yearly reading and my price list will be in the box below this video. I am still offering the spring special, which is a 15 minute video reading for just $25 if you'd like to give that a try. So thank you so very much for your likes, your shares, uh, your personal readings, and uh, your subscribes and donations. Take care and God bless.